Welcome back to San Antonio Living. September is National ADHD Awareness Month. So we brought in our brain training expert, Gina Cruz from Learning RX Northeast, to help us learn a little bit more about ADHD and ADD, because I've heard both used, right. both terms used, mm -hmm. but is there a difference or are they the same? Well, ADD is the commonly heard term, right. but is, it is actually ADHD that is the umbrella term for okay. the three types okay. of attention deficit. So three types of attention deficit. The mm -hmm. first type is inattentive. And what does that mean? Inattentive means that basically that person has difficulty focusing. They're okay. not a disruption or a behavior problem. Uh, the hyperactive type? Hyperactive and impulsive. They do tend to have more behavior issues. They are wiggly mm -hmm. and, and squirmy can't focus. And then combined, obviously, if you've got a combination of both. Right. That is a combination of both the hyperactivity and the inattentiveness. So what are some things that a parent should look for to recognize that their child may be struggling with ADHD? There are so many different signs for ADHD, um, but some of them are taking a long time to complete classwork or mm -hmm. homework, um, having difficulty or feeling anxious, depressed, okay. low self-esteem, things like that are really triggers for that. Poor grades, time management. And a lot of times mm -hmm. the parent is going to be the one that discovers the problem more so than the teacher because Absolutely. you know parents are, are very much in tune. Mm -hmm. So what if you think that there is an issue with your child? What do you do next? Well, one thing that is very important is to know that there are treatments other than medication okay. for ADHD. Okay, Medication is a temporary solution, okay. but you can also treat the cause. And okay. the cause of ADHD are things like short-term memory, processing speed deficiencies. Those can be improved and if you treat the cause then you can actually decrease the symptomology. So that's what you do at Learning RX. You that work is. with kids mm -hmm. to try to help train their brain uh, to get it back on track because yes. it's all it's all there. You've yes. got all the tools you just need to help them work properly. Absolutely and we have a new adult program by okay. the way as well. We've always worked with adults. Adults but can have that too. It's specific to the busy adults yeah. also. So we work with anybody. Well, anybody to take. with ADHD, <laughs> anybody with you know just wanting to improve their cognitive skills okay absolutely and it's scientifically proven and it addresses the cause okay you brought a demonstration uh, to kind of show how, how brains are working when okay. they're distracted this right? is one of the exercises that we do now I'm going to distract you but try to ignore me okay I'm gonna ignore you yes okay. you're gonna ignore me what you're gonna do is read um, all the way across here just mm -hmm. go ahead and do one row and read the colors for me as I just tell you the you color can. so you're gonna go yellow red green blue okay ready go yellow purple, red green orange black Blue, green, yellow, purple, red, yellow. green, blue. <laughs> okay, job. that okay. is hard. My brain didn't go as that fast. That is hard. Um, the next thing I want you to do, try the second row, and I want you to read the direction of the arrows. Okay, I'm not going to okay. make you do anything fancy with them. I could get harder. Okay. But we're going to go down, up, up. Okay, ready? Like okay, ready, okay. go. Down, up, up. Sideways, 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 up. side, right, <laughs> left, down, this left, other right, way, up, down, down, up. Very good. Okay. okay. So what you have, what I'm doing there is actually to improve attention. You want to include distractions within the training. Okay. okay? Because that way somebody gets used to filtering out distractions. I get it, and All that's right? going to help in school because you got to filter out the things that are distracting Absolutely. you and concentrate on the work. Absolutely. And what we would do initially is really just we want you to get faster and faster and faster. So this is working on your processing speed. The faster you think, the more you'll be able to take in what the teacher is saying and teaching. I'll tell you what. This is just a sample of some of the things that Gina does at Learning RX Northeast. Uh, I know you've got some great programs for both right. kids and adults, so give her a call and ask her about the programs that she's offering. There are two locations for Learning RX in San Antonio. You can find Gina at Learning RX Northeast. The phone number is 210-967-6278 for more information. Again, 967-6278 for more information. And it's Learning RX. RX.com. We'll be right back.